Hey everybody, it's Trisha with Chocolate Musings, and I have an unboxing today. This is a notebook that I found on Amazon. I think someone had mentioned one in a Facebook group once, and I wanted to give them a try. I'm also going to do a pen test page just to see how it holds up to my favorite pens and markers, including watercolor. All right, this is a Tumbitri Mary. It comes with a, this is an A5 notebook. It comes also with a metal ruler, which looks really cool. It's got inches on one side and centimeters on another. And then it is metal. So we'll, I'll be interested to try this out. It's really thick, actually. That's a really nice ruler. flexible but it's really nice. This is a spine loop holder for your pen. It has three bookmarks. The dots are very thin. I don't know if I can get it to focus. The dots are very small. They are kind of dark, but as you can see the corner where the numbers are, those are very dark numbers. I've not seen that combination before. Looks like it has 220 pages. It's a back pocket. Um, this is a pocket for the ruler as well. It just stays right in there. Lined index pages. It's got one, two, three, four four of them and then 220 dotted pages. The pages are very bright white. They're not at all yellow. By the way, this is very smooth. I hope that it holds up to watercolor because this might be a really fun book to start ordering for my bullet journals. Here are the markers I'm going to test, pins and markers. I've got some Tombos my Papermate Inkjoy 
gel pen, a Tombow Fujin Suki, lead pen, it's a brush pen, Micron 08, it's a 0.5 millimeter, Pentel brush, sign pen, another Tombow Pentel Milky, a mild liner, Zebra Liquid Rollerball, Zebra, this is a brush pen. I will test the Jelly Roll over top of some of these. Sometimes the texture of the paper makes a difference on how well that shows up. Zebra Zensations Technical Drawing and a Pentel sign that is not a brush pen. I don't really use fountain pens so I don't regularly test those. And I will add some, some watercolor tests as well. I'm going to throw in a couple other tests, like um, this has got some brush pens and some other pens. So I will list everything that I test out below so that you can see what, I, what I'm talking about. I'm always very heavy handed when I do my pen test pages. I feel like it sets a benchmark of what I can and cannot do in a notebook. So I will also try and blend multiple colors of Tombows just so that I can get an idea of what I can and cannot do in the notebook itself. And um, I will also blend using um, a water pen. Right, so that is actually bleeding through in nearly every case. But this is probably the thing that is the hardest on paper, mm. coloring over it with very dark, thick markers, and then blending and putting water through it. So usually that's a pretty good benchmark. I've only ever had a couple that can withstand even this. All right, so let's see how the rest of these did. The rest of them did fine. It's just when I added water to it. And that could be a problem for water coloring. I'm going to put a watercolor wash. And I'm normally when I paint in books that it's not watercolor paper, I am very careful about how much water I actually use. But when I'm doing a pen test page, I, I don't really limit it. So we will see how much it actually stands up to. It actually is standing up pretty well to it. It's just the Tombos that had an issue. And I wonder if it was when I tried to blend them. All right, so I just added water, just straight up water, squeezed out of the water pen. And I can see that it is starting to seep through. So that, that's to be expected. Most paper can't hold up to just straight up water. 
but it is blending really well. And if I'm careful about how much water I add, if I add the paint first, you can see where I added just the water itself, it'll seep through. But where I added the paint, and it was pretty wet. That's doing pretty well. That's actually, that's pretty impressive. It's a, having a little bit of a unique effect. I think it's the coating on the paper. It kind of spots through. It's, it's almost like I'm putting salt crystals on it, which is kind of, uh, which is interesting. It, it's like it has an air bubble that pops through it. I would never actually put just straight up water down initially, um, especially in a non watercolor book. I think I'm going to try something with the Tombos again. I just want to see if the marker itself goes through. And no, it does not. So if you use a Tombow and don't try and blend, then this paper will be great. This is actually a pretty great notebook. If you've tried this notebook and use fountain pens, please let me know in the comments how this notebook has upheld to your fountain pens. Like I said, I don't use them and so I don't test them very often. But this gives me a great benchmark of how much it can actually stand. And I am going to use this for my next journal. I'm excited about it. I'd love to hear about your comments. I'd love to know what other notebooks you would like me to try. And leave me a comment below. Make sure to hit follow and look for me in other plan with me videos and other notebook tests. Thanks everybody. Have a good one.